<laughs> I'm not sure which video it was. Um, I'm not even sure if it was on this channel, actually. Uh, someone made a comment about uh, the fence length in relationship to the blade and that being one way to avoid kickback. Um, I tried a shorter fence before. I actually used my original fence, but I put a piece on that was shorter and the end of it ended where the blade is. And I have to say that I did not like it. I um, am used to the extra support that you get from the fence going past the blade like this. I don't necessarily need a fence that extends out, say, past the end of the table here. Uh, doesn't have to be that long, but I do want to have that little bit of extra support at the back there. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to put a short piece on my fence now. And as you can see, what happens is the piece can turn at the end there. And it, I find that to be a little bit uncomfortable. And if I make the same cut with the fence as it is, the regular fence, you can see that I, that extra support keeps it going straight. If I were working with a, a saw with a short fence all the time, and like a, if I didn't have a choice, I would get used to it and I would try to, you know, change my um, way of holding the work. Because like I said in previous videos, when I'm pushing the work through the saw, I'm pushing this way. And in, in my opinion, if you're pushing any other way when you're using the saw, you're doing it wrong, okay? And when you're pushing that way, when you clear the blade at the back, or go to clear the blade at the back, the piece is gonna wanna turn like this. And that's where that little bit of extra fence at the end there comes in handy, in my opinion. But like I say, it's a matter of, uh, with all these things, it's a matter of experience and what you're used to and what your personal preference is. If you actually feel that the short fence is better because it does help, help, kind of help to avoid kickback, then by all means use it. But this would be my preference right here. <music>